appreciate Rebecca wanting to help buy dress, but on the other hand, it makes me I'm excited to try on some dresses. <laughs> what is our budget? 10000 All right, let's shop. Oh, what about that one? Way too plain, not me. We're going to do a little bit of a wiggle and a jiggle, darling. OK. And I'd like you on an exercise bike. Okay. Perfect, thank you. It really nips in my waist, and it's really nice on my hips as well. I think maybe I should take a nap. What do you think? Go ahead, I'll pick out the dresses. Sorry, Monty. <laughs> it doesn't make Gigi's eyes light up. We well, want to see. Well, her yeah, come I made out everybody go to bed. <laughs> I feel like that lace overlay is just delayed. Oh. There's no way I'm letting my oh. sister go down the aisle in that. Number five, Parisian bling versus minimalism. A good bridal consultant is skilled in managing even the most demanding bridesmaids who can sometimes have strong opinions and preferences when it comes to choosing the perfect wedding attire. Brides-to-be often bring along their closest family and friends to help them find the dress, but this can sometimes result in conflicting viewpoints that can add stress to the already overwhelming task of planning a wedding. I really want long sleeve lace, and I'm wearing these boots? I don't think so. I'm not a fan of these boots. Maybe not these boots, we may have to get new ones. I've known Colin forever. We went shopping together. I'm excited to try on some dresses. <laughs> what is our budget? 10,000. All right, let's shop. Oh, what about that one? Way too plain, not me. In this clip, the bride expresses her preference for a dress with long sleeves and white boots. However, her friend Colin Kilpatrick disagrees and advises against the boots, potentially causing tension and disappointment for the bride. The bride values Colin's opinion greatly as they have known each other for a long time and often go shopping together. She wants to make sure that Colin approves of her outfit choice for her big day. With a budget of $10,000, the bride continues her search for the perfect dress, but Colin's taste clashes with hers. Colin insists on glitter, bling, and shimmer, citing Parisian fashion as his inspiration. What about that with the bodice? You like that? No, no, and no. We are from Paris. Maybe not Paris, France, but Paris, Tennessee. Eddie and I do have the same taste. It just takes a little bit to get her. I love it, and I love the timelessness in it. On the other hand, the bride may have a different vision for her wedding day, and she struggles to find a balance between Colin's preferences and her own personal style. October in front of our house, the idea. I don't like it. I love the train, but it's a little bland in the front. I don't want her to look blah. I need a little bit more bling. I have to have some sort of jewels, something that's going to make her shine when she walks down the aisle. I love it with the belt. Is that enough? I don't think so. Everyone is agreeing about the dress except Colin. Yes, we need some bling. As the bride and Colin discuss various dress options, the bride becomes increasingly uncertain about her choices. She feels pressured to meet Colin's approval and worries that her outfit may not be up to his standards. She wants to please her friend and make sure he likes her dress, but at the same time, she wants to feel comfortable and confident in her wedding attire. Just thought that the dress would be like, we are from Paris and it might not be Paris, France, but... But you like Paris, France, bling. Yes. I'm not sure. At this point, I'm not sure. This situation highlights how some brides may heavily rely on their bridesmaids' opinions and feedback, often feeling limited in their dress choices without their approval. The bride's struggle with Colin's preferences exemplifies how brides may face challenges when their bridesmaids have conflicting views on style, fashion, and overall wedding aesthetics. It also showcases the pressure bridesmaids can unintentionally put on the bride who wants to please everyone and make her special day perfect. Number 4. Little Fashionista Takes Charge The bride's young daughter has taken on the responsibility of being the decision maker, eagerly picking out dresses for her mother's wedding attire with great enthusiasm. This is the one that I want her to try on first. It looks beautiful. Little girl is running around trying to take over the store. Go do something about it. I do not do well with kids, you know that. How do we take this? Ugh. Oh my god, what is she doing? Dashing around the store and touching various items in her excitement. However, her exuberant behavior has posed a challenge for the esteemed consultants assisting the bride. The consultants are now engaged in a discussion among themselves, carefully considering how to handle the situation in a delicate manner. Hey, hey, what's yeah. going on? <laughs> what are you doing? We're getting a mannequin, Jess. She wants to try on a lot of them on the mannequin. Okay. So let's get to work. She's cranking the whip. This one needs to get off the mannequin. She's making sure they get mommy that dress. Come over here. They are contemplating the best approach to address the young girl's enthusiastic actions which include her attempts to remove dresses from mannequins and her earnest request to have multiple dresses prepared for her mother to try on. 
The consultants acknowledged the girl's motivation for her actions, citing her admiration for her mother's beauty. She must be kind to Lori the way she bounces me around. I feel so bad for Monty. Maybe you should take a little rest. I think maybe I should take a nap. What do you think? Go ahead. I'll pick out the dresses. Sorry, Monty. <laughs> oh, hello, hello, hello. What is this? Bring it to my mom. You want me to put it on her? OK. Oh. And be a good girl. Oh, no, she didn't. OK, so apparently okay. we want to try this one first. I overheard. Told me. Did you hear her? I overheard. She is sassy. <laughs> The situation presents a unique challenge for the consultants as they navigate how to handle the young girl's exuberance while ensuring that the bride's preferences and choices are respected during the dress selection process. Number 3. Bridesmaid tears up So the day had finally arrived. Rebecca was getting married, and she had come to the bridal dress shop with her entourage of bridesmaids. What are you looking for, Rebecca? For all different style dresses and Colors are not particular. So you kind of don't really know no. what you're looking for, is what you're telling me? So my girls are going to have full range of the dresses that they pick. A red flag went up right away for me because this bride's vision is a big making it look like they're not just there for, you know, a barn dance. Well, I'm not sure if I even know where to start. 150 or more. $20. <laughs> $3 sounds reasonable uh, that's, for me. Okay. No, yeah, I think something a little bit more upscale. But to the consultant's surprise, Rebecca didn't have a clue about what she wanted for her bridesmaid's dresses. She gave her bridesmaids complete liberty to decide whatever they liked to wear. No theme, no uniformity whatsoever. The consultant realized that Rebecca's vision was a complete mess and gave her a reality check. The consultant warned Rebecca that she had no idea what she wanted, and it was a big red flag. But what are you girls thinking as far as budget even? No. You can work it out. Yeah. Krista, she is not afraid to say it like this. Krista it's less. does not like this. Be willing to try it on. All in all, the situation may have started with Krista feeling down about needing help, but in the end, it brought the whole group of friends closer together, and that's what friendship is all about, supporting each other through the ups and downs of life. Rebecca knows my situation, and she knows willing to, as a gift to the bridesmaid, help them out a little bit. Yes, definitely. I want the whole group. Rebecca wanting to help buy a dress, but on the other hand, it makes me feel bad because I can't go and... We'll work it out, work it out. I always do. There's no reason to feel ashamed. I feel loved. It does look very beautiful on you. Number 2. Fishtail Fiasco The bride's search for the perfect fishtail dress is met with unexpected challenges as she tries on a dress that appears incredibly tiny. As she slips it over her curves, she realizes that getting it to fit just right is going to be quite a task. She struggles with the tight fit, feeling disheartened and doubting if she will ever be able to comfortably wear such a dress on her big day. I'm looking at this fishtail dress and it looks tiny. I hope this fits on because this is what I was dreading the hip. I'm never going to fit in this dress in a million years. We're going to do a little bit of a wiggle and a jiggle, darling. Okay. I'd like you on an exercise bike. Okay. Perfect, thank you. Really nips in my waist and it's really nice on my hips as well. Nevertheless, fueled by her unwavering determination to find her dream dress, she perseveres, taking measured breaths and meticulously adjusting the fabric until it adheres to her contours in a most flattering manner. After much effort, the bride manages to squeeze into the dress, and as she gazes at herself in the mirror, her eyes light up with joy. The dress accentuates her figure, highlighting her curves and giving her a stunning silhouette. She feels like a princess, and her confidence soars as she envisions herself walking down the aisle in this beautiful gown, ready to say I do to her beloved. Go. Here we go. go. Let's see. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. Nah. Nah. Sorry. Like, you look lovely, but the dress. No. It's a bit like a shower sponge. Shower, shower sponge. sponge. What shower thought... sponges do you buy? <laughs> Glamorous ones. I like the diamond, though. Yeah. I like the diamonds yeah, yeah. here. I like the lacing underneath. Yeah. Yeah. You need to rewind and come again, I think. However, her excitement is dampened when her niece expresses her dissatisfaction with the dress. Her niece finds it pathetic, and her words sting the bride's heart. The bride is torn between her own love for the dress and her niece's opinion, feeling conflicted and unsure of how to proceed. On top of that, the bridesmaids, who have their own preferences, add to the complexity. They admire the diamonds on the dress the bride is wearing and urge her to reconsider her choice, adding more pressure to the already overwhelming situation. Number 1. Dress Dilemma Drama When it comes to planning a wedding, bridesmaids play a significant role in supporting the bride-to-be and making her big day truly special. 
However, not all bridesmaids are created equal, and some can be demanding when it comes to the dress selection process. These bridesmaids are determined to have their say and insist on getting a yes for their preferred dress choice. There she is. Look at you. I... Look at our girl. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it either. I love this dress, surprisingly. I'm really enjoying this neckline, the, the gorgeousness that I needed. <laughs> Let's see what the firing squad has to say. Their opinions can sometimes create challenges and tensions during the wedding planning process as they advocate passionately for their dress preferences. Amidst the anticipation of Marissa's wedding day, she excitedly unveils her first dress choice to her bridesmaids. However, to her disappointment, the bridesmaids express their disagreement and do not approve of the dress. Despite their negative feedback, Marissa remains unwavering in her love for the dress, and even the consultants at the bridal boutique are thrilled with how it complements her figure. The bridesmaids, however, feel that the dress falls short in making Marissa look truly extravagant. They believe her vivacious personality deserves a dress that matches her boldness, and they express their disappointment with the chosen dress. I think you need like that little hint of like, for your personality to be so big, and then it's just kind of like, uh. It doesn't make Gigi's eyes light up. We want to well, see. Well, her yeah, come and then everybody and go to bed. <laughs> I feel like that lace overlay is just delayed. Oh. There's no way I'm letting my oh. sister go down the aisle in that raggedy lace dress. And although this may be a fail, it's still a first attempt in learning. Nevertheless, Marissa is captivated by the stunning neckline and how the shoulders fit her perfectly, finding the dress truly gorgeous. However, her friend, Jose Corrigan, takes a strong stance against the dress, stating that there is no way Marissa will be allowed to wear it on her big day. He deems it a total fail, echoing the sentiment of the bridesmaids and insists that they should not even consider it as an option. Despite Marissa's affection for the dress, it seems that her bridesmaids and friend have differing opinions about its suitability for her wedding day. That's all for the video, folks. See you another time.